Hello friends. In our last class, we had discussed about the different models which we can use for productivity measurement. In which we had discussed about three different models which we can use for productivity measurement. Now, in this particular lecture, basically we are going to focus on one of the most important part as far as productivity is concerned, because everyone tries to improve productivity everyone is running behind this particular productivity and their ultimate aim is how it is possible for us to improve productivity but for improvement in productivity there are certain factors which we have to concentrate if we know those particular factors properly and how those particular factors are going to influence productivity then it will be very easy for us to focus on those particular factors so that the productivity can be properly increased, properly improved within that particular organization. Now, as this particular slide itself indicates that this particular factors which were going to influence productivity can be divided into two different parts, can be divided into two different terms. The first term is called as controllable factors, whereas the other is called as uncontrollable factors. Now, as the name itself indicates, the controllable factors means the factors which are within our control which we can control properly so that it is possible for us to focus on this particular productivity we can improve this particular productivity whereas the uncontrollable factors are those factors which are beyond our control which we can't having in our hand and that's why those particular factors we are going to call as uncontrollable factors now, how these particular factors are going to influence productivity that we are going to see in detail. To start with this particular controllable factor first, the first factor which we can see over here that is called as a product. Now, basically the term product or the term productivity means the product factor, the extent to which the product meets the output requirements. Products is judged by its usefulness. The cost of benefit factor or the cost benefit factor of a product can be enhanced by increasing the benefits at the same cost or by reducing the cost for the same benefit. That means what my product is providing for my customer, if we are going to enhance those particular features for the same cost, then it is possible for me to properly increase this particular productivity as more number of customers will be definitely going to buy that particular product due to the usefulness of that particular product because we have improved that particular usefulness by adding certain extra features to that particular product. The second controllable factor is called as plant and equipment. This plays a prominent role in enhancing the productivity. The increase or this particular increase availability of the plant through proper maintenance and reduction of idle time definitely going to increase the productivity. The productivity can be increased by paying proper attention to utilization of that particular plant, age, modernization, cost, investment, etc., which are related with that particular plant and equipment. That means, in, uh, in short, if we are keeping that particular plant ready for a, any time for that particular manufacturing it is possible for us to generate more and more output and thus this particular well maintained plant well maintained equipment will be definitely going to helpful for us to improvement in productivity the third controllable factor is called as technology this is the simple one that is innovative and latest technology and improves productivity to a greater extent. The automation and information technology definitely going to help the to achieve improvement in materials handling, storage, communication system and quality control. Basically the various aspects of technology factor to be considered one by one. First it is size and capacity of that particular plant, timely supply and quality of input. Then production planning and control, then repair and maintenance, waste reduction and efficiency or efficient material handling system. 
these factors will definitely going to enhance or improve productivity due to utilization of that particular advanced technology which is available which is quite helpful for us to make or generate more and more output the fourth factor or fourth controllable factor is called as materials now basically this materials and we can say the energy comes together efforts to reduce materials and energy consumption brings about consideration improvement in productivity as we are always trying to improve productivity how less material we have consumed or how less energy we have consumed that decides how less input we have already used to generate that particular output and therefore this materials plays a role of input and therefore how less we use that particular material or how less that particular energy we have used for generating that particular output that is definitely going to lead to improvement in productivity now the fifth factor is regarding the human factor basically the productivity is basically depend on the human competence and the skill that particular human is having the ab ability to work effectively is governed by various factors such as education of that particular human or that particular operator the training which we have provided for that particular operator the expertise or the experience which that particular operator is having the aptitude with that particular uh, um, operator is having all these factors or all these factors will definitely going to govern how he is capable of generating more and more output within that particular provided inputs the fifth factor regarding the human factor which we are discussed right now the next one is regarding the work methods basically improving the ways by which it is possible for us to generate that particular output we are definitely going to improve that particular output and therefore it is said that improving the ways in which the work is done which is nothing but the method improves productivity basically the work study and industrial engineering techniques and the training are the areas which improves the work methods which is in other terms enhance the productivity the seventh factor is management style this influence the organizational design communication in organization which policy which we are going to adopt which procedures which we are adopting the flexible and dynamic management style is a better approach to achieve higher productivity friends these are few controllable factors which will definitely going to influence improvement in productivity now along with this particular internal factors or this particular controllable factors there are certain external factors also or in other words we can call as the uncontrollable factors also which we have to focus properly to improve productivity the first uncontrollable factor is called as the structural adjustment basically the structural adjustment means the structural adjustment includes both economics and changes social changes economic changes that have influence significant are shift in employment from agricultural to you can say the manufacturing the impact of technology the industrial competitiveness and the social changes such as the women's participation in the labor force education cultural values and aptitudes are some of the factors which play a significant role in the improvement in productivity the second is regarding the natural resources second uncontrollable factor is natural resources obviously the manpower or the land and raw materials these are vital to improve productivity but obviously these are not in our hand this structural adjustment this natural resources or this particular government policies and infrastructure these are not in our hand to change to have change to so that productivity can be improved the third one is obviously the government policies basically whatever policies the state government or central government imposes we have to strictly abide with this or we have to strictly follow those particular policies which are laid down by that particular government and therefore we can't change those particular policies then that's why it is called as the uncontrollable factor and at the same time the last factor is regarding the infrastructure whatever infrastructure we are having 
we have to follow that particular infrastructure we have to use that particular infrastructure because it is not always or we are going to change that particular infrastructure as per our choice as per our choice whatever that infrastructure which is available we have to make use of that particular infrastructure and we have to improve that particular productivity friends this is or these are certain factors which we can call as the controllable factors or internal factors and uncontrollable factors or external factors which definitely going to influence productivity by knowing these particular terms my question for you is list out different factors which affecting productivity just think over it 